trail Every message needs a dove And everything grows with a drop of love We're all hanging on to the nail It's a rocky road to this pilgrim trail Pilgrim trail, pilgrim trail Sometimes heaven, sometimes hell Pilgrim trail, pilgrim trail Like every campfire needs a tail We're on this freight train going down the rail Together on this pilgrim trail Pilgrim trail, pilgrim trail Sometimes heaven, sometimes hell Pilgrim trail, pilgrim trail For everything is up for sale Pilgrim trail everyone welcome to workbench wednesday we'll be simulcasting tonight on youtube and rumble we do this every wednesday night at 8 p.m and we'll be continuing later on on rumble for the after party so if you haven't signed up for rumble yet do that link will be in the description for the live feed for rumble so check that out We'll be doing more after the stream. We also do this on Monday nights also. We have a half party, so we're going to be starting pretty soon. So we'll see you there and have fun. Everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm trying to get this up on the TV up here so I could watch it. How y'all doing? I uh, said hello to everybody in the pre thing. And then uh, there's Phil Kenyon on there. How you doing, Phil? Good to see you in here. Well, 
it's cold and let's see i'm feeling even colder now because of everybody talking about all the <laughs> cold temperatures everywhere <laughs> around the country so oh my goodness 19 degrees in uh panama city florida this morning can you believe that crap oh my goodness so it's cold so i don't know what's going on here i'm trying to get this thing to play on the tv up here and it just keeps on doing the intro <laughs> i might have to restart this thing here try this again boom there we go all right hang in there just playing around with this thing okay so we did a, a Monday night live stream. We're doing a Wednesday night tonight. Doing great. Warmer than Michigan. <laughs> there you go. There's Hello from warm Southern California. All right. At least it's warm there. It felt warm here for a while until I started reading about all the cold temperatures everywhere else. But uh, we're going to be working on the workbench here tonight for a little bit <clears throat> uh, my back is killing me i don't know what the hell is going on with it so uh, i might not be doing it too long but uh, bear with me and i'll do it as long as i can but we're going to be working on the windows and uh, i'll be showing you how how i do it uh, i got a new canopy glue uh, you can see it over here let me see right there so it's uh, made by, I can't remember, but <laughs> we'll see what who it's made by when we get over there. But uh, I had some testers, I guess it was testers, uh, and the la one of the last kits that I used, it didn't work too good. So uh, I bought this, I think, at Hobby Lobby, or maybe at a... At a uh, the last uh, hobby shop that I went to, it could have been at the hobby shop. So it might have been uh, TRF Trains when I was over in Melbourne. So I might have got it over there. Hello, Jenny Prake. Good to see you. And Ray Bartleson. How you doing? It's supposed to be 21 tonight with rain. Not sure if it will wake up to snow or ice. Well, <laughs> if it's going down to 21, it, it'll be... It will be some snow. You might have some ice before that. But uh, I hate that stuff. And there's... Oops, I missed it. Southern 207. Okay, how you doing? So we got everybody in here tonight. If you have not smashed that like button, smash it now. Tap it now. Push it. Beat it with a hammer, but do it gently. All right, smash that, smash that like button. Let me see if I can get this thing to work now. <laughs> I might just have to go out of Rumble and come back in to get it to work. Let me try it now, because uh, it's always wonky on, on my replay over here. So go down to here to following. Hang in there for a minute. There we go. And now it says it's live. Okay, so, all right, so it's up there. All right. It's running a little bit behind, but it's there. All right. So... Michael Brandt, good to see you in here. Let me put that up there. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so we're going over there in a minute. Before, but before we go over there, I got to say thank you to all the subscribers. Uh, we hit last weekend. We hit uh, 28,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's been what almost eight years or something like that. I guess 2016. So, yeah, going on seven and a half years. So let's just say seven and a half years right there. Okay, so that's where we're at. Okay, so 
28,000 subscribers. And we got members and supporters. So we're going to say a thank you there for everybody that supports this channel. So here we go. You can now support me on my Locals community, Tom's Train of Thought. Membership is free, and by clicking the Join button, you can support me for as little as $5 per month. Link is in the description and in the chat. Thank you for your contributions during the live stream. I really appreciate it. I would also like to thank all the moderators who have helped me out in the past years. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like that guy said over there, huh? Who is that guy, anyway? All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Southern 207 Hobbies he says, I'm playing... A new early access game called Railroader is based off of the Southern Railway Murphy branch. And it's a similar to how our layouts run. Oh, okay. So it's a simulator uh, like, uh, oh, what's the other three, 3D simulator? Or no, no, I wouldn't say 3D, but <laughs> 2D. Uh, track simulator. Uh, I can't remember what the name of it is. <laughs> I played around with it some time ago. But let us know. And there's Grandpa Rails. How you doing, JD? Thanks for stopping in there. Okay. Who else stopped in here? Okay. And Reggie Stroud, thank you very much for that super chat. I really appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Reggie. Thank, I really appreciate it. Trains is what I was thinking about. Yeah, T-R-A-I-N-Z. Uh, train Simulator and Train Sim World. I remember long, long time ago, there was uh, a train simulator. It was made by, I guess it was by, by the same company that made uh, Sim City. <laughs> a real real old stuff there so <laughs> that's going back a long way but i played around with that trains and they send me emails for uh updates all the time already yeah railroad tycoons another one yeah I, I remember seeing that one yeah yeah it's different from them oh, okay all right yeah that yeah the trains was the, the most uh uh, the one that I was thinking about. Railroad Tycoon is what I think you're thinking of. Now it wasn't Railroad Tycoon. That that's a that's a Microsoft. Ain't that a Microsoft game and uh, Train Simulator also? No, this one this one was. Uh, no, you could actually build the the. Uh, the railroads and everything. Uh, what the hell is his name? Um, Advanced Medium uh, does uh, live streams on it all the time. He's been doing it for about five years. So, yeah, Reggie says, I used to have a train simulator game, probably obsolete. Yeah, obsolete now. Yeah, I used to have Qbert too. That's an old thing. <laughs> 
I've heard of a new railroad game, Century of Steam. I've heard that one, too. Yeah. Hey, T-Star, how you doing? Good to see you in here. Glad you can make it in there. All right. So, in development. There you go. All right. Good to hear. Well, and Jim Tedesco says, I have trains 2023. All right. All right. I think that's one uh, um, advanced medium uses. I'm not sure, but I'd, most likely that's it. <laughs> I still have dunk hunt, duck hunt. <laughs> okay, that's old. Oh. Okay. The deliberate derailments were fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. All right. So we're going to go over to the workbench. And I can see it up here. That it's about a minute and a half behind. So we're, uh, and the reason I got the headset on, because it's easier to use the microphone. Uh, let me get the workbench over there. That thing. And I'll turn the uh, microphone off on the workbench. Let me see if I could find it over here. I think I already turned on. Yeah, I turned the master volume off so we wouldn't get an echo. Okay. It's playthrough with Railroader and Heights is the president of the company that's making Century of Steam. Okay. All right. I still have Atari 2600 somewhere. <laughs> uh we used to have the Atari. I can't remember. It was one of the real early ones. 600 XL. You had the, the game cartridges that you pushed down in there. But let me get over there. So you can at least see my hands when I'm talking. Yeah. And I won't be able to put the stuff up in, in the lower thirds. The chat in the lower thirds while I'm over here. But you'll get the message. And... I see uh, Gerald made it over in on Rumble. Let me push this over here, right over here. Okay, there we go. Here, here I am. Okay, let me get right over in the front here. Say hi, everybody. Okay, let's get back up, over on this one here. Okay, so you can see the canopy glue evergreen scale models adhesives and i think i got this at trf hobbies the last time we was at melbourne i think that's the the last uh hobby shop that i uh went to and we'll be i'm going to try this because i haven't used this brand before what i've used before was let me see if i still have it here the testers this one here, but I've had this for maybe five or six years, and uh, the last time I used it, it, it wasn't too good, so I might end up throwing that out. Let me see what this one is here. I got another one here. This is okay. This one's not. That one's not canopy glue. Okay, so we're gonna be. It it still has the seal up on top, so. It sealed for your protection. See right there. <laughs> I don't know who it's what it's protecting me from, but uh, we'll take that seal off. And so we could use it for the first time. Ooh, and it's real real tacky. Let me go get a piece of let me go get a paper towel over here. Okay. Ooh, that's real tacky. Okay. So, that's one method that I use to to cover the windows. Another method that I use is scotch tape. This one right here is matte finish. If you want frosted windows, you can put this on and... You say, oh, okay, so what happens to all the, the dust bunnies from your uh, model railroad? Well, what you do once you have it on, 
once they're all in there, what I do, since it's, uh, you know, frosted anyway, uh, I cover my model with uh, clear stuff, the clear matte finish. And so here is what it looks like. I'll just put some on the back here, like this, like this, a little bit bigger, but you get the idea. I'll do a couple of them here. But what I usually do is I, I put them in place in the building first and then put the masking tape on here. But this is just to, to show you what it looks like. i put it right there on the back of my hand. So frosted glass right there. And then put the, the matte on top of it, you know, when you're finished with the model. So you don't collect dust on it. And... The punched out or laser cut pieces of plastic and a lot of, uh, almost all the bar mills comes like this. Foscale comes like this. Some of the other uh, kits, not very many of them come like this, but they'll have just plain sheets of acrylic or is this acrylic? Yeah, acrylic. They'll just have plain sheets without it cut out. They'll use that. And I thought I had a piece over here somewhere, but it's probably in some old box someplace. But you could use anything. Uh, I think uh, Plastruck makes some that you could put on your uh, windows. So, Or you could take anything, uh, even... I'll show you this right here. These were my favorite, uh, mine and Debbie's favorite, Kalakis when we, we was uh, going to, what was it, Sam's Club? Oh, my mom used to make these all the time. But the plastic on here, it's a little bit thick, but you could still use it. You could uh, cut it up, uh, you, any any kind of these containers right here. You could use, you, you put the windows in the building and then apply it to the back in thin strips. Of course, you can't do multi, multiple ones here. You could do two here, but you could do like four here, you know, in between the bracing and put them on like that. Hey, Curtis, how you doing over there on Womble? Good to see you in here. Okay, let me see. Okay, I seen somebody about Gerald. Gerald, let me let me look back in the chat because I seen something and I wanted to comment on it. Uh, they're still talking about Atari. <laughs> Michael Brandt, the Atari is still works. Probably is worth a lot. People collect the old original stuff. That's right. Did you did you used to yell at me, turn that down, all those blip blip blip? <laughs> That's for sure. I I when when my daughter was young, we had the Atari uh, XL 600, and I bought it before Thanksgiving and uh, hid it behind the couch in the family room in the basement and played with it every night. Not the game, but uh, the it was loaded with uh, basic uh, programming language, so I played around with that. <laughs> We still use it with grandkids. Uh, look on their faces the first time we pulled it out was priceless. And the comments on how old we were. <laughs> yeah, yeah hey, we're a little bit old. Love the tank game so much I went in the Army. <laughs> 68A3 main battle tank. There you go. Sealed for your protection. What are you going to drink? And yeah, I, I suppose. 
if you roll them up into little balls, can you make a snowman? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I tried using white glue for the tiny windows, and it turned out very good. All right, I never tried that. I, you know, I just used canopy glue. Don't drink the glue. It tastes bitter. <laughs> I'll try not to. Another thought of using scotch tape for frosted windows. Nice tip. All right. Eat the paste. There you go. Yeah, we used to eat the paste in grade school. <laughs> Pasta tastes better. I, I guess it does. I use Zap canopy glue. I put it in the needle squeezer bottle. Works great. Okay, there you go. That's what I thought I seen up there sometime before, but it was must have been way back there. All right. Yeah, it was way back here. I think. All right. So. If you want to break the kids today from playing video games all the time, give them a 2600. There you go. <laughs> all right. So let me shook this up and see where we're going here. I'm going to roll my sleeves up. And maybe I should put the, the glass down so I don't get any glue on the uh, pad. I got some glue there. I don't know. I don't know when I got that there, but so we'll put this here, and hopefully you don't get a glare. It doesn't look too bad. So we'll put it on the back side, and it's been a while since I used this, so bear with me. And I've never used this one before, so and it's got a pretty big hole in there too, I think. No, maybe I need to poke a hole in that. I better do it with my pointy tweezers. Yeah, it the uh, deal looks broad, but uh, there we go. So I got a little hole in there now. Okay, so. So really, you just have to spread it out. And let's see how this stuff works here. And we're just going to have to put a bunch of it on here. And this doesn't work. Uh, there we go. And it comes out white. You got, it looks like i got to use a little bit more than what I thought would to cover that. And it seems like <laughs> I plugged up the hole already. Okay. That's not very good. We got us a bubble. Okay. See if we could get these down here. And it's almost like a bubble. And you want to drag it over. And <laughs> that one's not... Doesn't want to go. So we're going to have to add a little bit more here, probably. There we go. I'm getting more than I want on there. Okay, so here's what it looks like there so far. And we just got to let that dry. I'm going to do a couple of these. 
and then I'm going to cut out a couple uh, with the uh, with the plastic. Hey, Chasco, how you doing? Good to see you in here. Yeah, it takes quite a bit to do the surface. That it, 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 this here. It seems like it's taken longer than the the uh, testers canopy glue. Can Amos, I usually put a puddle on a paint tray and use toothpick to apply. Better control for me anyway. Well, that's a good idea. But I'll do it this way here for now. The other thing is, this bottle is not very pliable. You know, you can't squeeze it that much. So you can't squeeze it out really well. So I got a bubble there. So I got too much on that one there. That started out with a bubble. So that's going to be indented. Got it on my fingers. <laughs> I try to hold it with my tweezers. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I'm not liking this brand here. I might have to make a trip to Hobby Lobby and get the testers canopy glue. around this way here get that bubble out of there This way. Okay, the difference between this one and this one, this one's an open window here. So that's why there's a space at the bottom. Here's another open window. So we'll do this one here. And go on. I have always wondered why Microtrains does not put window glass in their cabooses. But they do for the passenger cars. I don't know. Maybe because it's not very easy. Ray Bartleson, I have never used canopy glue. Interesting. There you go. Yeah, to save money. Yeah, ready. I just used white glue and was surprised at the results. Like their products are cheap to begin with. Yeah, <laughs> I just used the glue in the window pane. Yeah, there you go. 
Well, I'm going to do this one, and then I'm going to do a couple of windows with uh, this right here. Okay, so uh, let me hold it this way. I did not like the bubbles that come out of here. And I tried to get the, the hole as, as small as I could. Okay, there we go. A little bit thick, but it's in there. Okay, one more. <laughs> I know, I keep saying one more. I think Tom just sold me on testers canopy glue. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go back to testers again. Yeah, the, the, the one that I have is too old, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not too fond of this one right here. I might have to put this in another bottle that with the... Uh, a pin, uh, a needle applicator, and see how that works. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this one's this one's a lot harder than doing it with testers, so <laughs> I'm going to get me some testers. All right, so on these ones right here, okay, let's do a full window. Might help to put my goggles on, maybe. Maybe that's why I can't see. There we go. That works a little bit better. Okay. Okay, so we'll take a couple of these, cut these out. Normally, I, I leave the backing on it, but uh, the backing is coming off of this real easy. Maybe because they're so small. But that way, you could handle it a little bit better. And where's my glue at? Where's this glue here? Okay. This is available at Hobby Lobby. Curtis says you should try Formula 560 canopy glue. You, where you get that, Curtis? You get that at uh, Hobby Lobby? All right. 
So I'm just going to dab. Let's put a little piece on here. Okay, so which way does this go? Does it go that way? And that way. The, the one side fits better than the other side, or the top fits better. So, let's try this. Let me get the top secured first, and then we'll work from there. And we just put a little bit, little bit of plastic cement on the edge and let it wick through. You don't have to put too much on it. You just one little, one little corner or two little corners, you know, and that should do it. Hey, Russes, Rock and O Railroad, good to see you in here. Now let's do another full window. That one right there. We're doing panes pain in my butt window panes let's put it on like this it might be a little bit easier like that Sometimes, like on these right here, these are just slightly smaller than the hole. So they might have cut these too, too short. I mean, the, the width is okay. And it looks like there's just a little bit come on stay on there now let me try it this way I'll put a little bit of plastic cement on it and that'll on the edge and that'll hold it in there there you go and put some on the other side too all right so this is this is uh Mr. Cement Deluxe, uh, I think there's another another one that has a green lid on it. It's not the Deluxe. And let's try this one here. This is a Tama. Tamia. Let me see. Extra. I got to get the price tag off of it. Extra thin. Five ninety nine at Hobby Lobby. Let me get it off of there so you can see the label on the front. 
We'll try this here. Same stuff, different brand. Uh, Curtis says that stuff is available everywhere. I've never seen it before, so uh, we're going to head on up to Lo Hobby Lobby maybe on uh, Friday. So we'll see what we could find up there. Curtis, you going to the train show in Stewart on Saturday? I think we're going to go. I'm not going to spend much money, but we're going to go. Ken Amos says, you can use Elmer's white glue or canopy glue for doing that, Tom, too, and don't have to worry if liquid cement frosts anywhere. Okay. Frost is okay if you're looking for winter or dirty panes. Yeah, I always go for, uh, you know, all my buildings are old and dirty and worn out, so <laughs> it's okay to get glue on it. So you have dirty window panes. <laughs> Looks like a pain in the glass. Yeah, it sure is. Tamiya has a very small brush. Works. Okay, let's see what this brush looks like here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, very small. Okay, that ought to work good. Okay, let's get another window over here. And... I'm going to put the glue on there first. Well, let me do this left-handed here. And do the glue right-handed. Put my goggles down. Stick that in there. Oh, boy. Look at that. Oops. I missed. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? But we'll get it in there. Yeah, if you you can't see it on on the screen there, but these little panes right here are a pain. Let me turn it this way. Yep, I got it the right way. But they are cut just a little bit too short. They fit okay on on the width of the window. But it seems like the top the top hole for the window is bigger than the bottom hole. So on the top there's a little gap in there. Okay, right here. Okay, we'll do one more. And that'll be eight windows. Okay. Let's do a open window. Let me see. Let's find an open window here. Okay, so... <laughs> I'll, I'll do scotch tape on the open windows. <laughs> the hell with it. <laughs> uh, that's going to be too difficult. <laughs> um, not a glutton for punishment. Okay, so the paper's stuck on that one there, so. 
Let's do the top pane first. Left-handed here, okay. And the glue on the right hand. And I'm not very good left-handed. <laughs> Always drop it in the wrong place. But there you go. All right. So you could take, once you get in there, you could take the paper off. Let me add a little bit more up here. Well, I'll do it this way and see if I can get it fast. Boom. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, that's it for the windows. That's that's all. I'm, that's all the windows I'm going to do tonight. Sent you a text. Okay. Well, I'll have to go on on the other computer or on my. Uh, cell phone and check it out all right grandpa rose later maybe metric made in china thanks for showing this have never done this all right all right no problem okay so that's all i'm going to do on there like i said if you're going to do if you're going to do the windows with uh scotch tape or put the Put the plastic on, you know, just glue your windows in place. All, all I use is, you know, Aileen's glue. These are not a snug fit. As you can see, they just fit in there. And they'll fall right out if you don't hold them. But you just put some canopy glue on there to hold them in place. And then you could put your scotch tape on top of it. Or you could use your clear sheets that are uncut and put it up on top of it however you want and then for the window blinds or whatever colored paper or whatever just uh, tape it on top glue it on top whatever post-it notes whatever you like so that's how you deal with windows so we'll glue these in next wednesday i'll finish up all the windows and we'll uh put some windows in the building so the building is white and the way I did it was uh, I just lightly I, I put a a gray primer on it and then on the uh, on the white I just went over it lightly so you could still oh, like in parts over here you could still see some of the gray coming through so this is the front this is the back nobody ever looks at the back but I still like to do the same thing on the back and detail the back just in case you know you're on a skinny one and you could see from both sides so I always like to do that but uh, if you want you want to distress distress it more you could just sand some of it down with uh, real light sandpaper and I had I had my uh, flexible sheet of sandpaper here it was really flexible it wasn't paper uh, and I can't find it since I, I move things around here so I'll have to look for it so I could sand that down this one doesn't have any signage on the walls but I may put something on the side walls okay here's the one okay there's a side and this one well this one has this goes over here so I could put a sign right here 
and I could put a, you know, some signage right there. But that, this is the far side right here. And this one here, there's a second level porch. But this one goes uh, in here like this. And this part goes here like this. So these are the uh, railings on the porch. And then there's a roof that hangs over that. So that's the only place that you could really put signs on here. And we'll just put some tobacco signs or something like that. Cigar signs are usually good for old style hotels. So, all right. Is the train show this weekend? Yeah, I think it's on the 20th. Let me go over to the other uh, computer and I'll uh, see if I can pull it up. Okay, Ken Amos says... At field, just take 11, number 11, exact to Blake, and, and make a small dimple with the tip of blade, and then make light score marks from dimple outwards, and it will look broken. Yeah, there you go. Alan's train were, said, finally made it over onto Rumble. <laughs> All right, good to hear. Yeah, he had... Edward Turner said, "Tom, you have great patience and a steady hand. <laughs> I hope I hope you think so. Don't do score marks straight. Make it jagged looking. Yeah, there you go. Show the twentieth at Gas South Center, Atlanta. Okay, I'll show that one also. Yeah, let me get over to the other computer and I'll I'll show them. Okay, so I'll be right there. Let me scoot on over there." All right. Here I am. Okay. Yeah. Adrian says, yep, Gene, this weekend. Yeah. Uh, okay. Where is it at? This one here? Nope. Wrong one. This one here. Duluth, Georgia, January 20th. Golden Spike Enterprises and Stewart, Florida, January 20 and 21. So let me see if I can pull up the... The web page here, uh, Curtis. What uh, what is the name of the uh, Model Railroad Club in Stewart, or is that Martin County? I think it came up under Martin Martin County um, train show. Let me try that. Okay, here we go. Let me scoot over to the other side. Here we go. Martin County Model Railroaders up upcoming events. Model train show for collectors and hobbyists Saturday, January 20th, Sunday, 21st, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. both days. Adult admission, $6.00. Martin County Fairgrounds, Dixie Highway, Stewart, Florida, 34996. Numerous vendors and model railroad equipment and memorable, memorable, memorabilia. There, I got it out. Okay, I, I got it out there. All right. Uh, so what else? Show the 20th at Gat. Let me see if I can bring up the... Uh, Golden Spike Enterprises. There we go. Oh, this is... Oh, crap. This is going to screw up my... 
<laughs> uh, don't do that for me, huh? No. Every no, every time it, this thing comes up right here, it blocks out my my screen, so I can't bring it up. Let me see if I could do this here. Uh, let me do the directions. <laughs> see if that works. Up, oh, where's it going? All <laughs> that's going to their home up in Maryland. Nope, I don't want that. Okay. Arlington, Virginia. No, I don't, I don't want to see that stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay, but anyway, it is on January 20th, Golden Spike Enterprises, Duluth, Georgia, uh, right outside of Atlanta. Ellen's train rolled. Are you talking to folks on local? Not at the moment. But, uh, I have locals up, and for some reason, I could do a uh, a live stream on there, but uh, haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> I guess I I, I got to get more supporters on locals. I think I got to get 50 supporters on locals. Before I could do live streams on there. Uh, yeah, because they're, they're kind of funky about that. Okay, Curtis, yes, I will be there. Yeah, I didn't see it. Uh, did you send me a, a email or a text? Because uh, I don't see a text here. All right, but we'll be going there, uh, and uh, what are the asterisks for? <laughs> okay, the asterisks are for ones that uh, we will be attending. So Stort, uh, the Villages, Jacksonville, Palmetto, uh, Dundee, Bushnell, and maybe Jim Thorpe. Reading PA or Jim Thorpe, whatever. Um Sparky figures out. I, I haven't seen any of his uh, streams lately, but uh, I think the last time I talked to him, he was still working on either one of them because he didn't didn't get a, a definite answer on Redding, and he was going to try Jim Thorpe. So, have no idea where it's going to be. Redding is the closest to me, and it's still six hours. Need more train shows in the neck of the woods. Well. <laughs> The closest trade show is two hours for me. So, and Stewart's two hours away. The Villages is like a little bit over two hours. Jacksonville's about uh, three and a half hours away. Palmetto's is two hours away on the other side. Dundee's about, Dundee's, that's the closest one. That's only about 45 minutes away. That's straight up, straight up uh, 27 from here. Bushnell, that's up on uh, I-75, so that's two and a half, maybe three hours. So none of them are really close, but uh, that's what happens when you live in the middle of the Florida where where nothing happens. <laughs> okay, so. All right, I'm going to uh, shut this off and go over to Rumble for a little bit. Let me see if I can find the link to the Rumble here. Uh, has <laughs> Nightbot put the link up there lately? <laughs> okay, hold on a second here. Let me get this up here. Uh, right here, right there. Well, I'll get the direct link right here. 
Okay. We're going to be staying on Rumble for just a little bit, not too long. But uh, there is a link for it right there. If you're interested in hanging out over in Rumble. On my Rumble, it's not showing, but just a few in chat. Uh, refresh. I, I always have to refresh on Rumble because... Uh, is still in not working that well. Anybody know where the National Train Show is being held this year? Uh, I have no idea. But I'll find out. Oh, hold on a second. I'll Google it and see what I could find. There's 2023, 2024 National Train Show. Where to be announced? You got to be kidding me. So August 9th through August 11th. And they don't have a, a place for it yet, I guess. Yeah, Nightbot has got gone night night, that's for sure. He was up here earlier, but then he just uh, took off on me. So, <laughs> asleep on the job. There you go. Hey, Adrian, time for dinner nap. There you go. <laughs> Kelly. I don't know. Well, we'll find out. They'll have it up here shortly. Jeff Sykes says we have the big Midwest train show in Novi, Michigan this weekend, 20th and 21th of January. Okay. All right. Good. Good deal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 45 minutes ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to play the end song here. Uh, thank you all for stopping in. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, Dave, and uh, tomorrow afternoon, you got uh, Jim, and I'll be back on Monday. Don't forget Sidetrack Sunday and everybody else that has uh, live streams on there. Uh, go participate in them. I got my doctor appointment tomorrow morning, and uh, that's the uh, <laughs> last doctor appointment till next week. And my... Uh-oh. <laughs> My camera froze up for some reason, so. All right. It's working better now. Okay. So here goes the end thing, and we'll see you over on Rumble. Engineer, where are you headed? Carry me back. Tennessee, oh, I got a little girl who's been waiting. I miss that she's married. Mr. Kane, we leave. Yeah, stay warm and safe out there. I'll shovel coal, Lord, to pay my fate. Gotta get this train down to the station. I want, I want true you love. love. Here's the swirly smoke. Won't that love train hear me back?
listen My one true love Baby, medicine Well, that long old train Back Ba-ba Train, 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 won't you carry me home? Whoa, whoa. See you, everybody. Over on the other side. Bye-bye. All right. We'll get over there in a minute. Okay, let's put this up there. Last chat. Okay, all right.